Okay, so I guess I'm gonna to have to finish up that example we did in class today. Um, so let's see, what exactly did this thing look like? We said that we had um, two smaller positive charges, I think, um, that had a larger negative charge in between and these had equal separations here, right? S and S. Okay, so the, this is um, minus 2Q. This is twice as strong as each of these. Okay, so that's, that's basically what we said there. Um, we had a couple of points that we thought were important. We had this midpoint here. We're going to call that A and we're going to look at um, the field there and we're also going to look at the field uh, down here and we also want to put, draw a uh, field a um, field diagram or not a field diagram a yeah uh, uh, we want to plot the field uh, with field lines and stuff like that in just a moment all right all right so first of all we want to know what is it we have right um, so, we have uh, three charges. Um, with the outer charges, Q, and the um, inner charge, uh, minus 2Q, the, these are in a line and they have a spacing S and spacing uses a C. And we have um, two points uh, near the center charge near that guy and the distance from that center is s over 2. We've already said that they're perpendicular they're perpendicular and one's along there and one's along there. Uh, we'll make that explicit later on and then what we want to do is we want to find um, first the field plot uh, second uh, the uh, the fields at um, A and B. So let's go I for A and double I for B. Okay. So that's our ID, um, our concept is the Coulomb field, right? And we may as well write what we mean by that as far as the equation. So that's a field um, from a, a particular charge, from a point charge is equal to uh, the charge on that point charge multiplied by a constant, which is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, um, divided by the square of the distance uh, between uh, the point and wherever n is, um, and our, our hat n, the um, direction. So we'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, that's just the same thing that we keep doing over and over and over again. Um, here in class, I went through the setup in detail. Um, so we put um, the negative charge at the origin. And we put 
the um, positive charges on the x on the x axis and then a is on the x axis is on the positive x side of the positive side of the x axis positive x axis B on the minus side of the y-axis, the negative side of the y-axis. So that's pretty reasonable. Um, we even went through and found some vectors for each one of those things. So um, so for charge uh, one, um, let's call that guy one, uh, we have x1 is equal to minus x x hat for charge 2. Let's call him charge 2. x2 is equal to x x hat for charge 0. Let's call him 0. Oh, excuse me. This isn't x. It's an s. And for this center charge, um, x0 is equal to um, the origin. Um, the field point A is just s over 2 in the x hat direction, and the field point B is at minus s over 2 in the y hat direction. So he's the only one off of the um, axis. So we're doing pretty good so far. Um, so our strategy will begin with one, sketching our field lines. And uh, two, um, I guess we'll have to find distances uh, charges to A um, then we find fields from those Okay, and then what else do we want to do? Well, we can um, superimpose to find the full field. That sounds pretty reasonable to me. Um, and then we repeat two through four for, for B. And that's that's about it. So um, that's what we're going to do. Uh, this is more. Le well, I guess we just got done with the vectors when when we um, when we left previously. Um, so let's go ahead and um, do the plot here. Uh, we've got a little bit of room. May as well do the plot. It's not really a horribly difficult thing, right? So. Remember, we had a few rules that we discussed in class for um, field lines, for plotting these field lines in um, with point charges, right? Uh, let's see, I guess the first one was draw your charges out, right? So we've got our negative charge here and our positive charges here. Uh, we also then, we then want to um, draw a bunch of different um, stubs in here that are going to be the ends of the field lines radiating out equally from each one of these, okay? Um, from what I think we're going to have to do, we'll go ahead and make this a, uh, make these dashed lines. And 
and um, just cover them over later. All right, so we said that you know we want to put say twice as many since this has twice the charge we want twice as many here than we have here um, since this is positive to negative and it's on a line of symmetry though we're going to actually get to connect these we, we know that so we're probably going to want to draw that line that's a good that's a good one to start with um, before we did six of these so let's keep on going with six six is a reasonably good number It'll give us a um, feeling for what's going on without um, sort of forcing it on us. And these guys are 12, so blah, blah, this way, blah, blah, that way, blah, blah, this way, blah, blah, back to where we started. Okay, and now we're going to try to start connecting these. So this guy is pointed directly at him, so it'll go something like that. So this guy's going that way, that guy's going this way, they'll, they'll meet like that. This guy's going this way, that guy's going that way, but they'll come back and meet something like that. And we have mirror images here, and mirror images here, right? I hope this works out reasonably well. And then down here, there's no reason for these guys to go in the opposite directions, so they go straight along the axis. Um, now we're, we want to go from positive to negative, so we go this way, this way. We can put, we can draw more than one arrow if we want to. That is in our um, competency. That's something we are allowed to do. Uh, we'll get this guy as well. Going outwards, going outwards. So that's what our field plot looks like. Um, and from this, we'll, we can guess that probably, you know, these since these guys are closer together here than it looks like these guys are over here, probably since we have some sort of concentration, this is going to have a larger field here at A than down here at B but that's something for the um, next video.